What's up YouTube? Bandit back with you. So I got a couple updates for you. Uh, I'm headed to Harley right now. The first update is they called me and told me that the saddlebag skid plate that had come off back when I got the uh, saddlebag guards installed. They said the saddlebag skid plate has finally come in. So I'm going to head down to Harley to get that installed. Uh, second update is that the check engine light has now come on on the bike. I checked the oil, the oil was fine, I just topped it off with fuel. So I'm not really sure why the check engine light's on. Um, don't know if it has anything to do with the lights that I've added to the bike. I don't think that would cause a check engine light though, but who knows, maybe it needs to be flashed, I'm not sure. So I'll talk to them about that when we get there. And the third update, and the most important update, is the old lady's finally here. If you can see in the mirror, she's sitting on the back. I'm not sure if you can pick that up or not. But, uh, yep, she's sitting on the back. This is her first ride on the Street Glide. Unfortunately, I do not have a comm set up yet. Uh, so that way she'd be able to uh, talk as well to give her first impressions. But we'll get those after we get to the Harley dealership and... Uh, see what she thought about it see what she like thinks about the tour pack i put on and that backrest um i also have the full wraparound backrest as well that i've purchased through advan black uh in the event that she doesn't like this one because i kind of feel like she wouldn't so i went ahead and made that purchase already and it's sitting in my garage just waiting to see if i need to install it or not uh, if i don't then okay um i'll try and sell it get some money for it if she would rather that backrest and I'll put it on uh, but yeah so this is just the ride down to Harley uh, that's pretty much all I have for now um, so I'll cut the video and I'll see you at Harley So, it not having a passenger seat, I, I don't like, but I do like the fact that this, it's got that step up. It's got exactly. That yeah. What's up, buddy? What's up? Trade her out? No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I like the bronze wheels. Dude, I love it. And the bronze on the the rock top of the rocker box. I think I like it in black better than I like it in the gray. Yeah. Yeah, and they put the Harley in bronze on this one. They actually got that logo design from. So yeah, like personally, I wish they would do a 117 in the special. All right, what's up, everybody? So, I want to do some little talk over. Um, they had the Street Glide ST in there and the Road Glide ST. So I did a walk around of the bikes filming it. Um, you, you'll hear me talking to the guy a little bit about the bike uh, or the bikes. But to go a little bit more in depth, I didn't want to, you know, record myself talking while in the Harley dealership with him standing there and me talking to him. So <clears throat> to go into a little bit of on my thoughts of the, the new ST models, um, I like the fact they put a 117 in it. I do. However, I do not like that big brake light they put on the rear that brought back like the old brake light off the old street glides before the Rushmore project. Not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of the reflectors that are on the saddlebags. They are, as far as I know, they're just reflectors. They are not lights. Uh, so I think those are pretty gaudy now. Custom Dynamics Zero, they make bad blades that you can put on, so you can probably take those off. Hopefully they're just adhesive and not screwed on so you don't have holes, um, but then swap them for some actual bag blades. 
and I'm not a huge fan of short bags. I like the look of the extended bags. Um, I understand why they went with that. I understand that they were trying to have that performance mindset. So you want the shorter bags for, you know, I don't know, wheelies or whatever, but the majority of your people that are gonna buy it is gonna buy it because of the 117, at least my personal opinion is that they're gonna buy it because of the 117 they're not gonna be out there trying to do wheelies on it or stunting on it or anything else so what I wish they would do and I know Harley uh, doesn't listen to me <laughs> but um, they do listen to their consumers and that's where this whole ST started you know they're, they're trying to listen to their consumers a little bit more and uh, go in that direction of a performance bagger but what I wish Harley would do is put the 117 on the special, keep the extended bags, keep all of that. Keep the special looking the way that it does, but just with the 117. And then I wish they would take the CVO, which also has the 117, but bring back the bike builder on Harley website. That's been gone for years. But instead of being able to build any bike, the CVOs are the bike builder bikes. So then it actually becomes a truly custom vehicle. Have their, you know, select paints that you can only get for CVO, and then you can choose which option you want for the CVO, what paint scheme you want, and then from there you build the bike. You build what engine crash bar you want. You build out what engine you want in it. If you want the 117 or if you want to go straight to the 131, you just build the bike exactly how you want and then it truly is a custom vehicle right instead of like yes cvo's aren't technically a production line bike uh, where it just goes through an assembly line it has a couple builders that are specifically there for the cvo but every cvo is the same in the parts that go on the only thing that changes every year is the colors so it really is still just a assembly line bike although it's only a select number of people that build them so i wish they would bring back to where it's truly or would would not bring back but make it a truly custom vehicle that's my two cents on it other than that i like the gray uh, i thought it actually looked really good i love the bronze wheels that they put on it and I like the little bronze accents that they have on the top of the rocker box. I think that's really nice, um, or the top of the heads. Other than that, uh, so Harley is saying that it's probably my LED lights that cause the check engine light. Um, so I don't know, I'll go back and have the bike running and I'll run the turn signals for the three minutes again. Uh, they cleared the codes, the check engine light hasn't come back on yet. <clears throat> so hopefully it stays off. Um, other than that, talking with the old lady on how she thought the ride was on the way down, uh, she said that the saddlebag guards that I put onto the bike are digging into the back of her calves a little bit. Um, but that also comes with the position of the, the foot peg. So I told her I want to put boards on there anyways for her, which will get her feet a little farther forward or the ability to have her feet a little farther forward, which will help out getting her, her feet away from the, or her legs away from the crash bars, <clears throat> or saddlebag crash bars. But other than that, I mean, that was really the biggest complaint she had with it. So we'll try and go from there and make this as comfortable as possible for her. Now I haven't done a long ride to be able to get you know her full impressions on the backrest on whether or not they need to swap that out and on the seat itself she also said she's feeling a lot of wind uh over top of me so that's my excuse to hurry up and go get the clockworks windshield that i want to put on anyways uh go ahead and order that get it installed to hopefully kick that wind up over top of both of us so she's not getting the the buffeting there on the back but anyways, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And as always, stay safe out there. Keep the rubber side down. And I'll see you on the road. Bandit out.